Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm doing another author in the spotlight and this time we're focusing on the wonderful classic sci-fi writer John Wyndham. So John Wyndham was writing in kind of the 40s and 50s, he has a collection of short stories from around in the 30s and um, I'm going to talk about his entire back catalogue today of full length books, I've not read any of his short stories and just talk about which ones I think are better, um, which ones I wouldn't necessarily bother with and what I have left pending on his TBR to read. Um, so John Wyndham have writes in a very um, sort of fresh and easy and quite fast paced style. He has sort of a simplicity to his writing that I think makes him very accessible. He does what I kind of consider like speculative sci-fi, almost like cosy sci-fi. There's a lot of our world but what if and then a little twist rather than it being sort of big epic space opera or lots of things with really dramatic aliens or anything like that. It's very much grounded in our kind of reality which I really like in sci-fi. I find that a bit more interesting than the big fully out in space entire world building style. His books are also relatively short for sci-fi which I think makes them incredibly accessible and really is an interesting way of dipping your toe into the world of kind of speculative fiction if you're somebody who likes things a little bit more straight laced. So let's talk about my favourite books from him. One of my favourites is The Chrysalids. I nearly said by John Wyndham, I do that in every author <laughs> spotlight video. This is a post-nuclear post-apocalypse world um, and it is sort of a, a local commune where there are two children in it who are keeping a secret from the adults there and it's about them um, trying to keep the secret hidden about their mutations and then sort of the natural progression of what happens when these secrets get found out. What I really like about this book is it's something which at the beginning you're not fully sure of what kind of world are we in and there's all of these like nods and hints to a world that we know now that seems to have been lost in some way shape or form and it sort of takes a long time for it to slowly develop and sort of the tension really just starts to rack up. So yeah, really fantastic read um, and very interesting take on sort of a post-apocalyptic world. There's sort of like cult kind of vibes to it as well and how you can kind of control the masses. That was very interesting. One that I recommended in my spooky classics video recently is The Midwitch Cuckoos. This is about a village where um, all of a sudden one day everybody is just unconscious. They all fall asleep. There's almost like a bubble of sleep around the village. And then when it passes, when everybody wakes up, it is revealed that the women are all pregnant. Um, and then it is about the village coping with this weird mysterious pregnancy event um, and the sort of things that are growing inside them and then the conflict between the mothers who want to love their children who they still gave birth to but the growing sense that there is something very wrong with these children and something maybe a bit otherworldly. It really taps into the idea of sort of pregnancy and being a vessel rather than actually that being something which is sort of natural and um, sort of wanted and the way that something could be maybe implanted in you and you could be used and the real tensions between wanting to love a child and sort of the the innocence of children compared to the unsettled nature of just sort of the otherness and the wrongness of them um, and the kind of hive mind energy that they bring to it. It is very very creepy and really good fun and has a really interesting way that it escalates at the end. Like I said, like John Wyndham does that quite nicely, he is very good at pacing it so that things seem very normal and natural at the beginning and then they really ramp up in energies and I think this is a great example of that. Two that are quite similar, so I'm going to group them together, is uh, The Day of the Triffids and The Kraken Awakes. The Day of the Triffids is probably John Wyndham's most well-known one. This is about plants who come to life and cause sort of a, a dystopian future, almost like the zombie apocalypse, I guess, future, but with plants. And then The Kraken Awakes is a similar concept, but this is about sea monsters coming up from the depths. So both of them are sort of survivalist fiction, talking about how do you cope when something has kind of come and invaded in the space and sort of the panic that that causes, and again, this other world worldliness and um, they are very very similar in plot. I actually prefer the Kraken Awakes a little bit more but I think that's just because of the like hype around Day of the Triffids. I didn't think Day of the Triffids ended particularly well, it probably was the least satisfying ending for me of all of his books but they're both really good fun and really interesting takes on sort of the zombie idea. Um, they're not a zombie apocalypse book but it is following those similar beats that we now know so well from that genre and this was sort of some of the earlier examples of that so you can really see the foundations laid down for survivalist fiction as we kind of know it today so really good fun. They are a little bit chunkier actually than his other ones so there's a little bit more meat to them. And now we're kind of talking about the ones that seem like the least sci-fi of all of them. So Trouble with Lycan is um, about this mysterious moss that is sort of discovered and it has the remarkable ability to sort of slow down or stop the aging process and it, it's a kind of competition about do we try and keep the secret or do we sort of tap into capitalistic ideas of it um, and sort of the conflicting characters um, well views about what is an appropriate thing to do with scientific discovery. For me this was one of my least favourites mainly just because it didn't feel very sci-fi-y. I really could see this sort of happening today.
day um maybe i'm just sort of jaded and sick of capitalistic sort of com consumerism ideals um but for me it it didn't particularly hit home i didn't find it very interesting just because i thought that it was too similar to like modern life um but it's a very cool idea very interesting and um, we love a classic like just because you 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 could didn't you didn't stop to think whether you should kind of vibe um, and that's what this book is definitely tapping into and then Chucky is about a um, boy who seems to have a mysterious imaginary friend who gives him access to information that he shouldn't have as like a 10 12 year old um, and the father's attempts to try and understand um, and like the parents attempts to try and understand what is happening to their child. John Wyndham really likes to play around with the ideas of like childhood and innocence I think this and Midwich Cuckoos are quite similar in some ways. The, again this one didn't quite ring true like as interesting for me but it was still a really good read like it, with Wyndham books this is sort of a, a sliding scale of like what did I give five stars to and what did I give four stars to like nothing is was like oh god that sucked do you know what I mean um, and yeah this one was really good fun it's much shorter so it's definitely probably the most approachable if you you're not sure if you're interested in sci-fi um, and yeah it's about this sort of weird alien mind that is um, broaching uh, this child and sort of using this child as a, a vessel and communication sort of pathway to the world um, so yeah very fun very interesting and then the only one of his that I haven't yet got to is uh, Plan for Chaos this was an unpublished manuscript that has since been found and I think reworked a little bit and it's described as part detective noir and part dystopian thriller and it's about women being murdered and in some way this is connected to a sinister plot that uses cloning to revive the Nazi vision of a world powerful master race so like, that sounds freaking fantastic and I'm really intrigued um, to read this one. It's also got an introduction which I think will be really interesting to see like why wasn't this published originally, sort of why isn't this part of the John Wyndham back catalogue. So I can't wait to get to this one. So those are all the John Wyndham books that I've read and want to read. Like I say, he does have quite a lot of sh like short stories out there. I'm not a short story person so I have no real interest in reading them but it might be worth checking out. And the covers that I have here are just the Penguin Classics ones um, which I think are just so pretty and so lovely and so hence why I've decided to get all of mine in that edition. So have you read John Wyndham and do you agree with my ordering of which I sort of prefer? Do you have any differences of opinions? Are you a big trouble with like and fan? And uh, if you have read Wyndham and you really like him, can you think of any other authors that I should check out that are similar in style? Um, that's pretty much it from me. Have a wonderful reading week and I'll chat to you soon. Bye!